Hello, I'm David from Winning Solutions. I hope you're having a great day and thank you for viewing our web page and templates. At Winning Solutions, we have a huge array of database templates to choose from for almost any business need you have. And the, all our databases can and are meant to be customized down to the finest detail to meet your company's specific needs. Shrink-wrapped software generally doesn't allow that. You have to use it as is with no customizations. With Winning Solutions, the licensing is very generous. The app can be used by as many people on as many computers as you want, and applications can be customized to your heart's content down to the finest detail by you or anyone else with a knowledge of Microsoft Access. We hope this video will be all the help you need. Are you trying to create an Access database but find that it's too much work? Or you could be doing something more productive with your time. WSI can do all the hard work for you. Just contact us via the information below this video. We will work with you to determine how much time and money will be needed to build your new database. If you'd prefer to have your new database built with .NET, Microsoft SQL Server so it can run on your Windows desktop or anywhere in a web browser, we could do that too. So let's go through the equipment maintenance log tracking system. Again, this is a template uh, that is meant to be expanded upon and customized. The paid version comes with everything you need to customize, including the source code. So we're going through the demo version right now, uh, but this is meant to be rather generic. It's not very fancy, but of course, again, this can be changed and customized and upgraded and add whatever features you want. Uh, I'm gonna go to maintain lists first. And like many of our databases, this is where we place what we call lookup information. Mainly, if you're going to have a static drop-down box, a drop-down box with static information, such as location. I'll just leave these as location numbers. Maintenance type, planned, emergency. Um, you know, and this is the default price. Just add another one in there. Workers, again, so we... We have some sample employees that are set in here already. So just to add a few here. Okay. And they can, of course, have their own color. You notice when I click on one and the other, the, the, the color changes. And this is to color code the schedule. So that's what that is. Maintenance type and location. We already saw that. So let's get out of the maintenance, lookup maintenance area. And let's look for equipment. I don't think there's any equipment in here right now. So we're going to have to add one. I'm going to cancel out of here and I'm going to go to add new equipment. So this could be any type of equipment. So let's say um, this just could be a serial number or something. Um, forklift. Right. Um, purchase date. Let's say last September, a forklift. Let's say we purchased a forklift for say $250,000. Uh, you can put pictures in here using the attachments. And now we have the item saved. We have the equipment saved. So uh, we can add maintenance for this too. So let's say that this equipment uh, received maintenance. Let's say uh, Delbert was the one who maintained it. So it's um, planned maintenance at location one. And... Let's say this occurred already, uh, maybe on the first of the month. We may not need to put times in here, but we'll uh, put that anyway. By the way, you may notice this this time goes, this time drop down goes by ten minute intervals. That's not set in stone either, so you you can we can change this. Um, right. So let's say they were working on it for an hour. All right, so we'll just do it that way. And I'll save and close. We can select a custom color just as we do for employees, but I'll leave that uh, alone for now. So now, again, maintenance history. So I'm entering these as if they uh, were entered in the past, but there's no reason you couldn't put scheduled maintenance in here too, or that could be a separate subform altogether if you wanted to add that, if you wanted to, to differentiate between the two. So Again, anything is really possible here. I'm going to go ahead and let's do a save and new to add one more. And photocopier that was brought last December. Photocopier goes for, let's say, $750. It's probably a little low. 
Uh, add maintenance. So let's say, well, we all know how often photocopiers need to be maintained, don't we? Uh, so Jill maintained it. Uh, it was an emergency that came up the day after they purchased it. Oh, wait, that's not, that's location. This one's in location three. And eh, maybe it happened soon after they purchased it, right? So you may not need to enter a time, but if you're going to do some sort of hourly billing or hourly invoicing based on it, of course, that's, that's not in here, but it's something that can be added. So that's why the times are in here. And um, we can actually enter... Uh, We can enter this manually as long as it conforms to this format. And of course, you, you can change this drop down. Uh, if I put 1 o'clock p.m. as is, it probably will give me an error. Yeah, see, because one that's not in the list. It's it's only in the list as 0, 100. Uh, so that's, that's how that works. And I'll just keep the same date. It would be 2020, wouldn't it be? Okay, so you get the idea. Uh, maybe we will put a custom color for this one. Uh, kind of this light blue. Try that. And you see it changes the background. I'm going to go ahead and close this. This was 12-22-20. I'm going to remember that date because now I'm going to go save and close. And I'm going to go into the calendar. And now let's go back to last December. And there you can see, um, now it's not displaying much detail because that's a monthly view, but let's say if we went to uh, a daily view, I just realized it wasn't showing up earlier because I put 10 p.m. as a start time, so uh, that's why this didn't happen. But again, so we can see it on the daily view, month view, and so on. You do have to be careful to put this, the end time after the start time. It is kind of important. Uh, so anyway... Uh, so that's the equipment search. There's the equipment. Again, we, we, we can add any maintenance data we have for that. So we've already viewed the schedule calendar. Uh, we can view a schedule day by day. So if we just do a search here, and again, we can search by anything. Um, we can search by just for Dilbert's jobs. We can search by location. And we could view either in the calendar form when we double click on this, which we have, or we could view in a maintenance, in that maintenance window format if we double click here. So that takes us through the equipment maintenance log tracking system. Thank you for watching. We hope this video was all the help you needed for your Access database. If you are struggling to create an Access database that does what you need it to do and just want someone to make that happen for you, that is the business we are in. Our contact information is below the video. You can reach out to us and we will work with you to determine how long it will take and how much it will cost to get your database up and going. If the time and cost are acceptable to you, WSI will get to work and make your database vision a reality. Perhaps Microsoft.net or MS SQL Server would be the better choices for your new database, so it can run on your Windows desktop or anywhere in a web browser. WSI will help you make this determination if you like. Again, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day.